वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ ग्रेड इलेवेंथ अकाउंटेंसी दैट इज ट्रायल बैलेंस ट्रायल बैलेंस इज समरी ऑफ ऑल द लेक्चर अकाउंट्स व्हेन द अकाउंट्स आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू इट विल हैव अ डेबिट और अ क्रेडिट बैलेंस द समरी ऑफ ऑल द अकाउंट्स दैट आर ओपन इन द बुक्स ऑफ फर्म हैव अ समराइज्ड स्टेटमेंट and that summarized statement is called a trial balance after learning this chapter you will be able to know the meaning objective of trial balance you will also know the format of trial balance and you will be able to prepare the trial balance by yourself what do you know about the trial balance trial balance is not an account it is a statement you have to be very particular when you talk about trial balance it is a statement at the end of one particular period trial balance is a list of debit and credit balances of all ledger accounts it is prepared at the end of an accounting period trial balance is prepared in the statement form which shows debit balances and credit balances of all accounts in ledger therefore it is called as statement of balance trial balance is a statement prepared with the debit and the credit balances of ledger accounts to test the arithmetical accuracy of the books when the ledgers are prepared at that time there will be either debit or a credit balance a debit balance means the debit side of that particular account is greater and the shortfall or the difference is on the credit side but that will be transferred to the debit side of trial balance because it is considered as debit balance credit same way credit balance means in any account when the credit side amount is more and the difference or the shortfall is mentioned on the debit side which will be transferred to credit side of trial balance that means it has a credit balance it is a list or abstract of the balances or of total debits and total credits of accounts in a ledger when the primary books of journal entry is closed ledgers are prepared all the journal entries are posted into ledger and the summary of that ledger is nothing but a trial balance with the purpose be, being to determine quality of posted debits and credit by establish a basic summary for final statements trial balance is a base for preparing final account or final financial statements that is trading account profit and loss account and balance sheet that we will be learning in further chapters it is schedule or list of those debit and credit balances which are extracted from various accounts in the ledger and balances of cash in hand and cash at bank as shown by cash book are also included so trial balance includes cash balance and bank balance as well as trial balance is the base for preparing the final financial statements each and every account that was open during the primary recording its balance should be transferred to trial balance the accounts which are going to continue will have either debit or a credit balance and that will be transferred in a trial balance so in short trial balance is a summary or a conclusion of first step of recording of transaction from trial balance the analysis of financial transaction begins objective of preparing a trial balance to check the arithmetical accuracy of ledger accounts as we all know according to the matching concept each debit has an equivalent credit so when the debit and credit matches the trial balance will tallied that means the total of debit side and total of credit side of trial balance should be same 
while preparing if there is any error or if there is any mistake or any amount left due to overseeing or human error that can be rectified it facilitates the preparation of final accounts final accounts are prepared on the basis of a trial balance so it is the first step for preparing final accounts the advantage of a trial balance are it helps to ascertain the arithmetical accuracy of the bookkeeping work done during the period the final balance sheet should be matching that means the assets and the liability should be equal so before preparing the final accounts when the trial balance is prepared at that time the final final arithmetical accuracy can be checked because if there is any mistake the debit and the credit side of final account will not match at that time the accountant may find what are the errors and he can rectify it at that time before preparing final account it supplies in one place a ready reference of all the balances of ledger accounts as we all know that bookkeeping journal entry it is in a chronological order so the sum total or the summary can be met at one particular point in one statement and that statement is a trial balance if any error is found out by preparing a trial balance the same can be rectified before preparing final accounts it is basis on which final accounts are prepared now we'll be seeing what is the format of trial balance the format that you can see on your screen that is down this format is of any ledger account the closing balance whether it is a debit balance or it is a credit balance if the closing balance is debit balance that means debit side is more the difference will be on the credit side and that credit difference is transferred to the debit side of trial balance same way if account shows credit balance that means the credit side is more and the difference will be on the debit side of any ledger account and it will be transferred to credit side of trial balance the trial balance will have one date that shows the trial balance is prepared on that particular date that means at the end of one accounting period so this is the format in which trial balance is prepared now points to be noted when we are preparing a trial balance the date on which trial balance is prepared should be mentioned at the top and it should be very clear name of account column consists contains of the list of all the ledger account so whatsoever ledger's accounts are prepared each and every account until it is not closed will be prepared and the name list should be mentioned over there ledger folio of the respective account is entered in the next column ledger folio is a number that will be placed to take the reference of that particular account in the debit column debit balances of respective account is entered in the credit balance the respective credit account is entered in the credit column the last two columns are totaled at the end the debit balance is either an asset or loss or expense and the credit balance is either liability or income or gain so very important how we are going to bifurcate the balances how we are going to bifurcate the ledger any asset or loss or expenses will have a debit balance and any liability or income or gain will have a credit balance these are very important points that are to be taken into consideration while preparing a trial balance now we'll see the limitations of a trial balance 
though the trial balance helps to ensure the arithmetical accuracy of the books of account it is possible only when accountant has not committed any error if there is any error in making of ledger that error may continue while preparing a trial balance as well as all the errors made are not disclosed by the trial balance it would not be regarded as a conclusive proof of correctness of the books of accounts so here it is not a ultimate solution for rectifying the mistakes but few arithmetical mistakes can be found from trial balance now we will see few numericals here we will be only dividing the particulars in debits and credit now we can see capital capital has a credit balance because it is a liability creditor credit balance drawings debit balance because it is expense same way salaries debit balance bills receivable is a asset so it will have a debit balance bills payable is a liability so it will have a credit balance debtor is asset it will have a debit balance sale is a gain so it will have a credit balance insurance is expense debit balance land is asset debit balance commission receive is income credit balance purchases expense debit balance sales return the reverse of sales that is debit balance purchase return reverse of purchases credit balance carriage inward expense debit balance printing and stationery debit balance expense stock is our asset debit balance machinery asset debit balance wages expense debit balance now here they have not mentioned the rent if it is rent received it will have a credit balance because it is gain and when nothing is mentioned it is assumed that rent is paid so it is debit balance it is expense interest received gain credit balance electricity charges debit balance and when the amounts are kept in a format and debit and credit balances are maintained it will give the total and that total is 5,8900 for this particular sum. To make more clear, we'll be looking into one more example. Here, again, there are balances, list of balances, and basis on their characteristics, we are going to bifurcate them into debit and credit. As you can see on your screen, drawings, it is expense debit balance, capital liability credit balance, creditors liability credit balance, bills payable liability credit balance, debtors asset debit balance, receivable assets debit balance, loan from Shamim that is again liability will have a credit balance, furniture and fittings asset will have a debit balance. Opening stock, asset, debit balance, cash at bank, credit balance, as it is an asset, debit balance, purchases, expense, debit balance, sales, gains, credit balance, salaries, debit balance, sales return, reverse of sales, debit balance. Purchase return, reverse of purchase, credit balance, traveling expenses, debit balance, commission paid, expenses, debit balance, discount earned, gain, credit balance, and cash in hand, that is our asset, debit balance. So simply all the list of accounts are to be bifurcated into debits and credits, and the totals 
to be prepared and when the proper statement is prepared and these amounts are bifurcated into the debit column and credit column both the side will have a same total that is 9,14,050. So I hope you are clear with the preparation of trial balances and we may practice more numericals later. Thanks for watching. Next we'll be seeing the trial balance is prepared by two methods. Following are the methods. One is balance method, another is totals total amount method. Balance of the ledger accounts are taken into consideration in balance method and in total amount method, both the columns total are taken into consideration for preparing a trial balance. In this met balance method, in this method, all the ledger accounts are first balance. It is done immediately after posting of original entry to the ledger. The debit and the credit side of each ledger account is totaled. Balance are then recorded on the credit or debit side of the trial balance. That means the differences are taken into consideration. In total amount method, the total on debit side or on credit side of every ledger account are taken into consideration. The grand total of both the debit and credit side is taken in total amounts method. And in the case where the grand total on both the side tally, that is called the arithmetical accuracy. Under the total method, two sides of accounts are totaled. Under the balance method, no ledger account are totaled no ledger account are balanced their total are simply taken from their accounts to trial balance the total of debit side is called the debit total and the total of credit side is called the credit total in that the difference is the balance if debit side of an account is bigger then credit side, the difference is called debit balance. Same way, if the credit side is bigger than the debit side total, the balance is called credit side. So in balance method, only one side is taken into consideration. In total methods, both the sides are taken into consideration. If in any case, the total of both the sides are same, that account is considered to be closed and that is not carry forward in trial balance. Now we will see certain errors that are taken place in preparing trial balance. Error of original entry, error of omission, error of reversal, error of commission, error of principal, compensating error and transposition error. One by one, we'll be having a look on each error of origin of trial balance. Error of original entry. When both sides of a transaction include the wrong amount to the ledger account. For example, if a purchase invoice for 210 is entered as 120, this will result in an incorrect debit entry and incorrect credit entry. Both for rupees 90 less. So the total of both columns will be rupees 90 less and will thus the balance will have a less of 90 rupees. Same way, if the amount is wrongly written as 200 instead of 2000, so there is a difference of 1800 for both the sides. Next error is transposition error, an error caused by switching the position of two adjacent digits. For example, if a credit purchase of 465 is wrongly written as 564 in purchase book, such error will not be disclosed by trial balance. As posting on both the sides of debit and credit will be wrong amount so trial balance will agree, but 
when it is when it is discovered there is a less of 11 rup rupees error of omission when a transaction is completely omitted from the accounting records as the debits and credits of the transaction would balance omitting it would still leave the total balance and agreement of trial balance will not be affected anyway a variation of this error is omitting one of the ledger account totals from the trial balance next is error of reversal when entries are made to the correct amount but with debits instead of credits and vice versa if cash sale of rupees 100 is debited to the sales account and credit to, to the cash account such an error will not affect the totals but it is considered as a big mistake where the 100 rupees is wrongly debited and credited error of commission when the entries are made on the correct amount and the appropriate side but one or more entries are made to the wrong account of the correct type example if fuel costs are incorrectly debited to the postage account this will not affect the total but it is written under wrong head if a purchase of 500 from james has been credited to joe instead of james it will not affect the trial balance but it will have a wrong dater that is error of commission error of principle when the entries are made to the correct amount and the appropriate side as with an error of omission but wrong type of account is used such error arise when an asset is treated as an expense or vice versa or liability is treated as an income or vice versa if fuel costs are debited to stock this will not affect the total because both the balance have debit side same way 6550 spent on extension of building wrongly debited to repairs instead of building that will affect the agreement of trial balance compensating error multiple unrelated errors that would individually lead to an imbalance but together cancel each other out these re these results compensate themselves in the net result that is over debits or under debits of various account being neutralized by over credit or under credit to same extent of other account for example under posting of rupees 500 on the debit side of a certain account would be compensated by under posting of 100 on the credit side of another account and omission of credit posting of 400 to a third account this error may also be neutralized by over over posting of 500 on the debit side of some other account or other accounts that means when there are multiple error and when one error is compensated by other error but both the errors are taken into consideration now there there is a disagreement of trial balance that means sometimes the debit side and the credit side of trial balance do not match so what are the reasons behind the disagreement of trial balance an item omitted to be posted from subsidiary books into ledger sometimes some amounts are not posted from ledger to trial balance or sometimes they are not posted from subsidiary books to ledger account here we can see one example a purchase of 1000 from mike omitted to be credited to her account as a result of this error the figure of sundry creditors shown in the trial balance will be reduced by 1000 and the total of credit side of trial balance will be 1000 less as compared to the debit side next is next reason is posting an amount to wrong side of ledger rupees 50 discount allowed to a customer wrongly posted on the credit side of trial balance instead of debit side of discount account as a result of this error credit side of trial balance will exceed by 100 next reason for disagreement of trial balances wrong additions or balancing of ledger account 
While balancing capital account at the end of the financial year, credit balance of rupees eight eighty nine thousand wrongly taken as seventy nine thousand. As a result of this error, the credit total of the trial balance will be short by ten thousand. This is again a human error when where there is calculation mistake. Wrong totaling of subsidiary books. The trial balance, the ledgers, they are the result of original books that is journal entry and subsidiary books if there is a mistake in the primary books of entry that mistake will be carry forward to trial balance as well sales book is overcast by 10 rupees as a result of this error on credit side of trial balance will be rupees 10 too much because sales account will appear at a higher figure on credit side of trial balance An item in the subsidiary book posted twice to a ledger account. This is the re reverse case of the previous reason, where the subsidiary books have had a wrong total, or there was an omission. But sometimes it may happen that from subsidiary books to ledger, the recording is done in a repetition manner, or it is doubled. So that will. create a difference in totals of trial balance so these are the various reasons for disagreement of trial balance i hope it is clear now now omission of a balance in the account in trial balance sometimes the amount is omitted to be written in the trial balance example cash and bank balance may have been omitted to be included in the trial balance balance of some account wrongly entered in the trial balance same way we have seen the earlier where the balance of 513 in stationery account is entered as 315 error in totaling of trial balance the balance of commission earned account wrongly shown on the debit side instead of credit side of trial balance so these were the various reasons for not matching of trial balance thanks for watching i hope the chapter is very much clear now